Lauren Cooper. I work at Teaching for Change, and I'm also one of the coordinators for the Zen Education Project, which has been a gratifying experience because teachers all across the country are using the materials to teach in their classrooms that I wish my teachers had used. Being American Indian in Phoenix, Arizona, Arizona having the second largest population of American Indians, I remember sitting in a middle school history class um, as a Clarendon Middle School Comanche and reading a couple of paragraphs about how some Indians came and went during the westward expansion. And we're sitting there in the classroom thinking, we're right here. We're still alive. But, you know, I would never say anything because we would also have read how some Indians foolishly sold their land or gave it up for some beads and pennies or they couldn't defend themselves against the U.S. Uh, military. So I just sit there waiting for the moment to pass. It wasn't until I read a people's history that I felt a sense of dignity that I never got from any other book. At the Zen, <laughs> At the Zen Education Project, we have over 14,000 registered teachers using the site and over 100,000 people accessing the website. More and more each day, we have people teaching a people's history and challenging their students to think critically about what they're learning in the classroom and what they're hearing from the media. Everything on the website is free. That includes the resources, the teaching activities, and through social media, conferences, and other methods, we're getting teachers together to share and to counter having to teach to the test or to teach to some status quo. So I thank you all for your contribution and standing in solidarity with us in bringing a people's history to the classroom. Thank you.